During the week of May 16, 2016, the Checkpoint Experience was held at McCormick Place in Chicago, where thought leaders from around the cybersecurity community gathered to discuss the latest trends and developments with security experts and solutions partners. And Cybersecurity TV was there. One company that was quite visible at this premier industry event was Avanon, which has just attracted a new round of investment with a simple philosophy, that data can be more secure on the cloud than it is on the network. At the event, Cybersecurity TV caught up with Gil Friedrich, CEO of Avanon, who provided us with some very interesting insights on Avanon's innovative approach that's quickly gaining traction and market acceptance. Hi, I'm Dave Gardy for Cybersecurity TV. We're here at the Checkpoint Experience in Chicago. With me here is Gil Friedrich, who is the CEO and co-founder of a company called Avanon, which is attracting a lot of attention here. You're a partner of Checkpoint, that's right, and just give us a little overview of the company. Sure, thanks Dave, and uh, great to be here. Um, so Avanon is a cloud security platform. Um, basically what we allow our customers to do, we allow them to secure all their cloud solutions with their choice of best of breed technologies. What we created, we created this platform that on one side you can choose any of your SaaS applications, and then with each security layer you can choose from one of 60 plus best of breed technologies, Checkpoint being one of them, to secure that SaaS. So Checkpoint's our partner and this is why we're here today. That's excellent. Now, you're in a hot sector in, in both cloud security and cloud computing, and recently attracted a lot of attention because you guys raised $14.9 million from Greenfield Partners, which is part of the growth equity platform of the, the big firm TPG. Uh, give us an overview of, of why all this excitement about your company. Cool, so you know, first you know, we appreciate the investment and uh, we welcome uh, TPG and uh, Greenfield Cities to our board, as well as the support from our existing investors. I think what they're seeing and, and, and what we're experiencing as well, we're seeing that more and more companies, probably almost, I would dare say, every company out there is either already moved to the cloud or is planning uh, its move to the cloud. What Microsoft did with Office 365, they mainstreamed the usage of, of cloud services. But what they're also seeing, they're also seeing new hackers going after those services and uh, they are unprotected, not with best of breed technologies. So we're, you know, we're the first platform to basically bridge that gap. I think that's, that's part of the reason for the excitement. That's part of the other things going on in the market. You know, there's some people feel like maybe the bubble burst in the investment side for cybersecurity. I mean, you, January and February, venture capitalist investment was 1.5 billion, and then all of a sudden in March, it's, it dropped to 98 million dollars. I mean, what was it like raising money in an feel in an environment like that? And when you're out there, what was that like? Good question. So, um, you know, we've been trying to raise money for for this round for about six months. Um, and we always aimed for the you know, $10 million and above because we knew this is what we needed uh, uh, for our next level to support our, our customer base. Um, and six months ago, the cybersecurity market was still in its climax, but we weren't ready for, for this amount and the valuation uh, required because we still haven't had the, uh, you know, the customer traction that we later gained. Starting Q1, you know, we added quite a few customers. Some of them are within uh, U.S. Fortune 500, and um, and you know, and then as we went to raise the money, that that made it easier because we had the customer traction. So the experience for us was that more important than um, you know the the market state was where we were, and and the kind of adoption we were able to demonstrate for investors. So based on what you told me before, is it safe to say that what you guys do is take care of the whole new cloud security issue much better than traditional vendors? I, I, I wouldn't say better because they're our partners. What we allow customers and what we allow uh, security vendors to do, we basically allow them to take best of breed technology that they already trust from their data center and with the click of a button implement that on the cloud. Our philosophy was that there were, you know, there are great technologies out there there's no reason to reinvent the wheel. There was just, the, the gap was that you needed, uh, you know, a one platform to implement all those technologies on your cloud. Now, you've also attracted a lot of other attention in other ways. Gartner made you one of their cool vendors for 2016. Uh, you also were involved in the list, li named to the list for CRN, for uh, cloud security solutions. Um, it's amazing how you've been able to do that, and what is your secret to getting the attention of press people, analysts, customers? How do you do that? Uh, I, I wish there was a secret. I think the, the core thing, at least the way I see that, is that we have a unique solution that you know, finally makes sense to a lot of customers and to a lot of analysts. 
And so as soon as we present that concept to them, I, I think that's, you know, they're intrigued, they want to hear more, they, you know, and that's what gets us the attention. Can you give us an example? For sure, yeah. So, you know, I, we have this going on for over two months now, but Checkpoint that's hosting us here, we, uh, they gave us a piece of malware that um, one of their firewalls captured. So that was real malware that, you know, a customer of them was downloading and they were protected by, by Checkpoint Blast, Sandblast that blocked it. We've been using that malware with uh, Google Gmail and Office 365 for about two months now, over two months, I guess and it still goes untracked. So, you, you know, everyone knows that AV doesn't protect you anymore, but here's a live example of malware. You know, people talk about zero day. This is not zero days. This is two months now. Malware that goes into the inbox of Office 365 and Gmail untracked and could infect your machine. So in this example, you can see how someone that was sitting on-prem was protected, you know, by a solution that's no longer applicable to the cloud. What we did, we connected the two. We made that available in the cloud, and now the customer is protected. Can you give us some other examples? Yeah, one of our, you know, thinking of data leakage, one of our customers in University Hospital. As soon as they scanned their uh, Google Drive, they found a file with, you know, over 350, 351 um, uh, credit card numbers sitting in the cloud in Google Drive open to everyone. So we were able to track that, we were able to protect them from that leakage. So basically what you're telling me is you can go across a whole slew of security applications with a click of one button. What's the impact on the end user? Interesting question. So as we made this platform available to our customers, you know, we were intrigued by some of the ways they were using it. Um, during POC, they are, they are trying multiple solutions, running on their real data in real time, and this allows them to compare the results and, and choose best of breed or most cost-effective solution within the list of, of, um, of products we offer. Um, and I think for them, one of the notes made by one of our customers was, why should I choose one security vendor when I can choose any? So the ability to choose multiple solutions within one framework with implementing one workflow to address um, the results of those scans, that was a big deal for them. Where is Avanon going to be in five years? Great question. So, uh, you know, we're trying to promote this ecosystem that basically says, you know, any SaaS solution we want to integrate with, every security technology that's coming out or will be coming out in the next five years, we want to make that available to all of our customers. If we're able to promote that, that ecosystem, then we think for our customers, this is how they're going to test, buy, and use any security for the cloud. Excellent. People want to find out more about Avanon. Where should they go on the web? Just go to our website. That's uh, www.avanon.com, A-V-A-N-A-N.com. That's www.avanan.com. We've been talking with Gil Friedrich, who is the CEO and co-founder of Avanon. I'm Dave Gardy here on the floor. Thank you for joining us, Gil. Thank you. Cybersecurity TV's coverage of CPX 2016. Stay tuned for more.